Shadi is a beautiful, beautiful soul. I knew that my kids were very special and different. They we're, were, my parents raised me, they raised us. We are light workers. We put out positive energy, we exert, we help others. I'm a community advocate as a personal way of my life, the way I live. I, I've worked for others, I help others my whole life. I've raised my daughters that way. My daughters have excelled, I have two daughters. This has caused so much emotional effect to my family, her, her, my parents who love my baby so much, her grandparents, her uncles, her aunties, the community. Everyone has pulled up. This has affected many people in Milwaukee. I'm coming here today. This is the hardest thing I would ever have to do in my life to speak Shadi's voice. Shadi was a beautiful soul. She was an amazing girl. Nancy, everything you spoke was exactly what my daughter exerted. I couldn't have asked for any better daughter. There was things my daughter did that many adults were not even able to accomplish in their lifetimes. And I'll be 43 in a week. My birthday's on April 27th. Shadi's birthday's on May the 10th. I had her on Mother's Day. The son of a, I'm going to watch my language on this platform. The son of a took my daughter from me a month before she's graduating with her associate of arts degree. She works so hard. She's a full-time student. She has two full-time jobs. She has her own little bachelorette apartment. She doesn't stay in a college dorm campus. She has her own bachelorette apartment. She has her own car. She pays all of her own bills. This is traumatizing, Nancy. I never expected this to pull up on my front door. This isn't normal. This is a 2024 Jeffrey Dahmer. I need him held accountable. I need justice for Sade. There has been a lot of, in a many black and brown girls that have been gone missing in Milwaukee for a moment. And all of them are going to be held accountable now because they put, they mess with the wrong family. They mess with the wrong family because we're not going to sit quiet and we're not going to sit still. And we're going to call all of them out and we're going to speak for the whole community because I'm not about to sit down and I'm not about to sit still on this one. It's justice for Sade, Nancy. It's justice. Miss Scarborough, I feel like anything, anything I or anybody on this panel could say right now, it, it pales compared to what you just said. And believe me, Miss Scarborough, this story of Sade has not just touched people in Milwaukee. It has touched people around the world. And when you say you're not going to sit back, neither are we until there is justice for your girl and the other missing and murdered girls across Milwaukee. They're not all just missing. They're dead. Many of exactly. them are dead. So Guys, with me is Sade's mother, who is in so much pain, but she is joining us tonight to speak out for Sade. What happened? What led up to this night? Yes, Nancy, this is, yes. Nancy, the last time I spoke to my daughter was on Easter Sunday, okay? We seen her, she came by my parents' home, we spent the Sunday together. This was Easter Sunday, okay? Um, I cooked for them, both of my daughters, we all met by my parents' house where I'm currently at. We all commute here. All my girls are busy, They're my youngest is 16, they have a lot of activities, they're working, they go to school. 
I have very successful and independent, self-sufficient daughter. 